Hey there, YouTube. Superbrain AK here. What have we got here? Oh, well, it's an SEC 1223 power supply. So the website here, made by Samlex America, is one very nice power supply. So the ratings here. 13.8 volts, 23 amps on the outputs. <laughs> I think I look, there, these go for about 100 something dollars and I was just laying in my grandfather's garage. I went to my grandfather's on the weekend and brought home a bin full of stuff. <laughs> Including this. At the bottom here. 13.8 volts DC, 23 amps. Little fan. There's <laughs> the uh, power output, positive minus, and power input. Yeah. Want to see inside? <laughs> That is just some high current porn for you. Nice fan. And mains input rectification and filtering. And then uh, two high current MOSFETs. These two here. And then the output diode coming from this massive ferrite. Just bring it around. Wow, look at the outputs. Those are, the two on the right are ganged together. Or the four on the right are ganged in two. And then the four on the left are ganged as one, so those are center tapped. And it goes through that bridge. Is that inductor. And another inductor to those filter caps. I believe that's three 2200 microfarad 25 volt. And these little wires here are uh, thermal uh, sensors going to the uh, transformer windings. And then over in the uh, data sheet on here, I'll link this page in the description. It says the uh, fan won't even budge on until this core gets to about 70 C, which is pretty hot actually. So there's a little uh, pulse width controller there. Uh, internal 5 volt regulation too. I'll link the day sheet to that too. Yeah, yeah all, all that was wrong with this thing was uh, mains fuse was missing, so place that. That's a 6.3 amp fuse. And the uh, power switch was missing. See so, you know, on here it shows sort of like a red uh, light up switch. Well, that's a basic. Uh, ATX power supply switch <laughs> works the same. The other one was three pins. Basically, the only sole sole purpose of that third pin is to have the neutral for the uh, neon bulb that's in it. So yeah, just connect the two wires together and it's on. And I had powered it up under lo no load and. It was reading about 13.9 volts. So, <laughs> that would be awesome on that. Replace that whole piece of junk there. <laughs> and yeah, that'll be a future vid. Getting this powered up and running stuff. Man, <laughs> this is just pretty. Look at the size of that inductor. 
I mean, holy cow. That's three paired turns, or three paired wires going around that. <laughs> well, won't be rambling on anymore about this thing. He's a beauty, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you like that. Take care.